endometrial cancer is on the rise. And one of the things that ASCO has done a lot of is just focused on ovary cancer because there's been tons of clinical trials. And so we really were focusing on endometrial cancer, um, at least not to exclude ovary cancer. But that's one of the reasons we included these two trials in our oral abstract session. So the first trial is the final, kind of the final outcome of Portec the PORTEC-3 trial, and so this was actually high-risk endometrial cancer patients. So they were deeply invasive grade 3 with LVSI, serocystology, stage 2 or stage 3. And they were randomized to radiation versus radiation followed by chemotherapy. Um, the second trial was a phase 3 randomized trial, and this was actually an advanced, optimally cytoreduced endometrial cancer. And these were randomized to radiation followed by chemotherapy versus chemotherapy alone. And so one of the big questions in endometrial cancer has been, what's the role of chemotherapy? Because all the trials in radiation therapy, if you go back and you look at them and you really kind of tease out the outcomes, there's been no difference in overall survival with whole pelvic radiation versus no whole pelvic radiation. What we've consistently seen, though, is a difference in um, recurrence in, in, in the area that was radiated, local, what we call local recurrence. And so that's actually what they found in both of these studies. The other thing that, that I'd like to speak just briefly about is the study design issues. So as an oncologist, having really studied kind of the biology of cancer, radiation therapy is a local treatment, chemotherapy is a systemic treatment, and the idea of giving radiation prior to chemotherapy biologically doesn't make a lot of sense to me um, because chemotherapy requires rapidly growing cells, and if radiation puts these cells in G0, that may be one of the reasons that we saw an improvement in metas recurrent metastatic disease with chemotherapy, but no improvement in terms of the radiation followed by chemotherapy. And so many of us think that this is probably not the right study design. Um, what I would have loved to have seen in both of these studies would have been then randomized to chemotherapy versus chemotherapy followed by radiation because I think that would tell us what should we be doing as clinicians because right now what we don't know is we don't know what the role of radiation is. We don't entirely know what the role of chemotherapy should be and so we're a little bit muddled in the field trying to tease these things out. I think many of us are considering endometrial cancer more like breast cancer which is it's a systemic disease. And so to treat a systemic disease with local treatment kind of also doesn't biologically make sense. Um, but who should get chemotherapy? Who should get just local treatment with radiation therapy? That's still kind of up in the air. But I, I'm hoping that on the basis of some of these findings that those will be some of the next studies that will be done.